Right, we are going to look at a Terratech 3.6 volt lithium cordless screwdriver from uh, Amazon. It is only £20, or £19.99 on Amazon at the moment. And I have seen these exact same model for uh, up to £30 on eBay for some uh, reason. I will just quickly unbox uh, this one. Now, usually I do uh, all of the unscrewing of what I repair, which is GHDs by hand. Uh, unfortunately, I've just been diagnosed with uh, uh, quite bad arthritis uh, around my trapezium uh, bone. It's a small bone at the base of the thumb, uh, and there is no cartilage left uh, protecting it from. So I'm pretty much bone on bone there, and it hurts a lot. And uh, the surgeons pretty much said, well, you know, that is from years of playing a guitar. Uh, and thank you, Rene, before you comment, yes, I know, badly. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that's uh, that's what's done it. Uh, nothing much can be done. Uh, normally I open uh, GHDs like this, and sometimes you need an awful lot of force to break the seal. So I thought, we're going to see if there's any other options uh, that can uh, take some pressure off of uh, this thumb joint especially. And I thought we'll just try a couple of cheap cordless screwdrivers. I've gone for two because I need two bit sizes and uh, one is for the hinge pin, the other is for the uh, plastic uh, case covers. So the idea is to uh, just have two of these at the ready and pick whichever one I need. I mean this is, as I say, 20 quid, it's basic, it's cheap, uh, but it may well do the job. We've got some instructions, the actual item itself, and we've got longer screw bits, a holder to get extra length there, and a selection of smaller ones and some cheap uh, sockets with adapter. Now one of the reasons the price is so low is it because it only comes with a USB charger which uh, is not a particular problem. Charging is a few hours. Uh, cable is really long. It makes a change. You just don't get that. And I don't think we've got anything plugged in. Have we? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is plugged in. So I'm just going to plug that in there and uh, it charging. Oh, something loose in there. A bit of broken off plastic or a bit of solder. The other one doesn't do that. So plug that in and you've got a charging light up the top. The red light will eventually go out. Usually a bit of charge when they arrive. Two LEDs lighting on, uh, on this one, I think. Yeah, when it's fully charged, you'll get the three lights, and as the charge reduces, it will go to two and then to one. But uh, yeah, you just get that red LED. You would think that perhaps when the charge goes up, the LEDs will light up further, but that's not the case. The red LED will simply go out. Now, there is a light, but uh, in my opinion, it's pretty useless. Uh, let me see if I can show you. So if you're working on a screw that's here, the light actually is not on the screw. It is. The further up you go, you're lighting the area. And the other big mistake they have made is the, the operation of the light is dependent on the operation of the whole screwdriver. They really need to have a two-stage switch in here because you do not want to be popping a spinning bit into a screwed uh, head uh, so yeah it's not really a very clever design uh, you're gonna have to spend a substantial amount more to get uh, the light coming on first uh, so you can line it up and obviously you need the LED pointing at the screw you're working with you can spin this round into a, another position like so if you're working more that way or up in the air, but uh, for me, I'm working you know sideways and sometimes down, and it's easier that way than that way. Now the other 
slight cane is that screw is the forward and reverse. It's much nicer if they have a forward and reverse rocker switch, like some of the more expensive ones have, because you'll find if you're gripping this, you'll accidentally press the, uh, the button in or out, depending on how you hold this. I am repeatedly doing that. Just probably needed to be slightly longer here, and uh, with the grip just a little bit lower. But uh, yeah, it's not ideal ergonomically, but it's uh, it's 20 quid. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, I've been using it, well, just one for the past uh, week, probably. I already see a little bit of wear on the, the cheap bits that it comes with. The main reason for that is you do not have a clutch setting on this so you can uh, try and not to over tighten something as you're tightening it just by letting it do that and hoping the screw just nips up <laughs> just as the screwdriver stops um, but sometimes the bit will just slip off of the head at that point so but at this price you can't expect a clutch uh, I may well if it works out and the pain in my thumb is reduced um, you know because of using these uh, I may well invest in some more expensive ones with a better positioned light and a, uh, a clutch so we can do uh, no damage. But for 20 quid, I think that's uh, it's pretty good. It also comes with a two year warranty, and uh, the company is, uh, that's importing it is uh, futuredirect.co.uk. Um, as I say, I've seen a lot of people selling these, they've also got face. Uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter and uh, YouTube uh, pages so uh, absolutely fine if you want a cheap screwdriver uh, but uh, you know, not so good if you were really looking for a decent light and uh, variable speed and, uh, and a clutch but uh, yeah if you just need occasional use. Sorry I don't know that one. Well and you weren't even asked about that one. <laughs> Bloody Alexa. Anyway, quick look at that. Um, this also um, has been treated with a, a cortical steroid injection, which takes about a week or two weeks to uh, start working, and that has substantially reduced the pain. It's more of a more of an ache now. You haven't got that sharp pain when you start pushing things around. I can certainly play guitar again. Um, but the least amount of stress I can uh, put on it, the better. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I thought you might have like, a look at those.